going on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about the new series that I'm going to be starting, Premium Side Quests, where I go over side quests in ESO that give you rare valuable rewards or something extremely unique or hopefully all of the above. So before we jump into it, I wanted to figure out something, and I don't know if any of you will know the answer to this. So I've, I'm in a lot of like bands, discords, Facebook groups, uh, etc., and I wanted, I've noticed that there's a lot of people who play ESO that can't afford ESO Plus. So I'm trying to figure out a way where I can like help give people, e like, you know, my supporters ESO Plus. But I noticed that a lot of people just say, oh, just like and subscribe and share the video and blah, blah, blah. Well, there's no real way for me to monitor that. Like, for example, um, the people who like my video, you guys are all ghosts. I don't know if you're real, not real, no I, no idea, so I don't know how to monitor that, and my fear is, is like, if I do comments, like, what are the, you, you may not see me respond to your comments, it's like, hey, you won, or if you're just a subscriber who didn't make a comment, how do I get a hold of you? So if you guys actually know any of the logistical questions to those answers, let me know. I hope I didn't just uncover the fact that pretty much every, every YouTuber that says that is a scammer and is probably just pulling out of their ass who they picked to win. Or maybe there's something hidden going on. I don't know. I've just not noticed it. But um, thank you for all of those shadow likers. Uh, I, I, I don't know who you are, but thank you. But jumping right back into the video here, I wanted to talk about this item here, which is the Orizola's Smoked Bear Haunch side quest. Now, why I like this side quest is it actually gives you that thing that I just said out loud. After doing four side quests with her, and she can be located right here in Rothgar, you'll be going up from the Chatulwe Shrine up to the Tolkien Forge. Why do the orcs sound like they're German? I don't know. You'll do four side quests, kindred spirits, healthy choice, thicker than water, and a feast to remember. Each one will give you a recipe with a feast to remember giving you the golden recipe that we were discussing. But what's interesting about this recipe is, is it's tradable. And why that's interesting is, is because you can sell it. That's That, that was the big punchline to that, that point there. But let, if we were to head over to the old Deshaun, I wanted to show you... The, the prices that people were currently asking for this on Xbox and A, because to me it's absolutely ridiculous. And that's kind of the reason I wanted to highlight this, because one, hey, it's a free gold recipe. How many people know that if you were to walk in the middle of the woods at a forge that you probably have never been to, unless you had some sort of reason to go there, you can get this recipe that's golden. So that's why I wanted to highlight this. And it's also not something that's bad at all for using. In fact, a lot of people will use it for their recipes or for their actual, and you can actually see here, these are the other things that she offers here. You get the red froth, the blood pie. You know, she's got a whole bunch of recipes herself. But you also notice too, there's not a lot of people selling this recipe, which is something, again, I wanted to kind of show you guys. Here you see people selling it for 150,000 to 217,000. That's probably obviously not what it's going to be selling for. Um, I believe I saw it in another guild trader here earlier. I, I imagine it didn't sell for the price that it was listed for, but you, you never know, I guess. Oh gosh, did it, did it sell? Am I crazy? Maybe it did sell. It was listed for 80 to 90,000. And I believe it was in, was it in here? Okay, so it was in here, 80 and 80,000. Still probably out of the range of what it's feasible to sell this item for. But if you actually look at its effects, max health, health recovery, stand, magic recovery, that's a good food. Um, realistically, that could be used for a lot of different builds and setups just because of the regen and the max health. And it is gold, so it gives you four active effects, which is always nice. So it's actually a really good item. And the quest itself only take about five to 10 minutes to do. So it's really simple. The only reason that I'm not doing that quest with you guys right now is because I feel like it would just be padding the runtime of these videos. And there's really no reason for me to extend these videos to eight minutes just to get a second ad if it's really not worth it. But if you guys want that in the future, because again, this is the first episode of me highlighting side quests. If you want to see me complete the side quest, put it in the comments below because I have no problem doing it. I just don't want it to be like, a, okay, he's just doing this side quest here, pad this runtime, so we get a second ad to make five more cents on this video. 
course, you could be thinking that I'm doing that now by going on this tangent, so I won't go too much longer on this tangent, but excellent food, very quick to get. Again, all you will need is the Orsinium DLC, which lets you go to Rothgar. If you go to Rothgar, you can get this. You can do it on every single character uh, that you have. If you were to delete a character, you can redo it and get that character to do it again. And then you can either sell it, use it, consume it, trade it, whatever you want it to do. But that wraps up my conversations about that. And again, if you have comments or suggestions on like how I can use YouTube to do like to find individuals to do giveaways, let me know. Cause I don't, I mean, I'm not, you know, trying to expose some celebrity espionage, you know, the Oscars, you know, or anything like hidden, you know, anything like that. You know, I'm not trying to uncover anything, but I don't think that you can see if someone's liked a video. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think you can go and retroactively be like, oh, well, 50 people like this video, so let me just do a random number generator, 1 to 50. It doesn't work like that. So, um, uh, hopefully your favorite YouTuber doesn't do that, because I think that they're just panning for likes. They, you can do it for subscribers, but, again, there's no real way to get in contact with them super easily. But, if you know there's work away around this, let me know because I wanted to use the money that I actually get on YouTube to give back to the ESO community. So if you have suggestions on that, put it in the comments below or you can actually email me directly, use my Discord or anything else in the socials that I pin in the things below. But other than that, guys, that's going to wrap up with this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to like and subscribe to Jake Clips. Or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or better yet... I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you.